Hello and welcome back. Today we're starting a new topic, Instant Store. Very exciting. Let's have a look. So as we discussed, uh, here is here are the core elements that make a computer work. And an EC2 instance represents the process and the random access memory, while Instant Store represents the HDD or SSD, just like we had uh, in the case of the EBS volumes. Now let's have a look at some of the features of Instant Store. Well, instance store um, depends really depends on the EC2 instance type. So some EC2 instances don't have instance store attached to it. To them, some EC2 instance types do have instance store attached, and some EC2 instances may have multiple volumes volumes of instance store attached to them. Uh, we'll see more about this later in the course, but it really depends on the instance type. You cannot add on uh, additional uh, instance store volumes if the EC2 instance type doesn't already come with them. Now, something to know about instance store is that it's ephemeral, meaning that it's not persistent, it's temporary storage, and data will be lost if the underlying uh, instance stops, it hibernates, or it terminates. Um, however, rebooting an instance is okay. So not stop starting, but rebooting is okay, data is preserved, but all those other situations, the instance uh, data will be lost. Uh, the advantage that we get in exchange is that instance store is physically, because it is physically connected to the EC2 instance, it's not network attached, it's direct storage, it's right there. Uh, that means it has very high input output performance, very high IOPS. So uh, it's very fast to read and write uh, from uh, to this instance storage. Um, and uh, instance storage is a type of block storage as we had discussed earlier in the course. Now, a few other features of instance storage is that if, uh, as we discussed, if you stop and start an instance, and that's our icon for stop starting, then uh, the data on the instance storage will be lost. Um, uh, in terms of uh, attaching EBS volumes, you can attach EBS volumes as normal, nothing changes there. Um, then if you have uh, several instances, you cannot move instance storage uh, instance store volumes from one instance to another, uh, unlike EBS volumes, which you can detach and reattach. And another thing is if you create an AMI from an instance with an instance storage volume, then uh, the instance storage volume will not be included in the AMI. Um, so there we go, that's instance storage. The use cases are it's ideal for uh, temporary storage of information that changes frequently. It also is very useful for applications that require massive IOPS at low latency and can tolerate failure because there are lots of options for failure with instance storage. It is ephemeral after all, and uh, it shouldn't be relied on uh, for storing valuable long-term data. So there is a quick summary of the slide and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.